By now, you've probably seen plenty of these widgets showing social proof and reviews with real avatars. In this video, I'm gonna show you two ways for you to create this and add it to your website. We'll be using Elementor for this example, but this could be used on any website builder or with just HTML. Method number one, this is gonna be the easiest way and that's creating the graphic inside of Figma. From here, I'll create an oval shape. Let me make this about 80 pixels. And then I'm going to add a border you wanna choose whatever dark border you are using, either dark or light. It is totally up to you, but choose a color you like to use. I'm gonna start off with three pixels. And now from here, we're gonna drop in an image. So I could go to my fill and select on the image and then upload it from my computer. There are a few ways that we could do this. So I have a few of them picked already. Let me go here and I am going to duplicate it, Command D and then slide it over right about here is good. And then I'm gonna duplicate it a few more times. I find five of them to be a good number to use, but use as many as you like. Now, I could go in and change my images a few different ways. One, I could do the same exact thing, which just is go in and upload it from the computer. But another easier way to do this is just to take your file, drag it over to your image and drop it in. That is another method. Or if you don't have your images yet, go ahead and use a plugin like Unsplash. Let me right click, go to my plugins, and I already have Unsplash installed. And then from the search, you could put in person, you could put in profile, you could put in avatar. They're all gonna be basically popping up the same thing, and you're gonna get these profiles right here. And now all I need to do is select the avatar and choose who I want in it. And I could just go ahead and switch these up really quickly and create a fast avatar and a really quick widget. Now from here, let me go select all of them. I am gonna turn this into a layout and then auto layout it. And I am gonna to go to my gaps and use a negative and I'm gonna drop it in. I'm gonna say minus 16. That's a good number right here for what I'm building. This looks pretty good. Now I am gonna relabel this. I'm gonna call this my avatars. You could call it whatever you want, and I could export this. You could either export it as a PNG, that's one option. Now, PNGs, I try to avoid them. This is one of those situations where it can work. Make sure that you have your preview on so you can see it. Let me export this. If you do have a background color that is solid, you could use the same exact background color and mask it. I could just go here to my avatars, to my fill, and then choose that background color. That way I'm able to export this as a JPEG. And then from there, you could optimize it. It's a lot better if you could do this, but in some situations, like what I am building here on my site, I have a graphic in the background, so that wouldn't work. I would need to use the PNG. Another graphic I would like to create over here are the five stars. I would go down to my shapes, select on star and hold down shift and let's create a couple. Again, I'm gonna make this 80 pixels. And then from here, let's go ahead and give a border radius. Oh, that looks pretty good at three pixels border radius. Let me zoom in to get a better look. Let's change the color and we're gonna give it like that gold color. This is pretty good where it's at. Now notice the box, the borders around it. It has this padding. We wanna get rid of that padding. So just right click and then go to outline stroke and now the borders are gone. This is gonna hug the icon. Let's go ahead and duplicate it four times so we get the five stars. Let me zoom out. Let's go ahead and do the same, select on all of them. I am going to frame it and then auto frame. That way I got my control. Let's go to my gap. I'm gonna take this to 16 as well. So this looks pretty good. Let me call this stars. And now from here, I'm going to export these as an SVG. Now the reason why I'm doing these separately and not putting the image of my avatars with my stars is because well, I probably wanna use the stars in other places of the website as well. It just gives us that flexibility. Now, let's go back over to our site. From here, let's go in and I'm going to drop in an image. 
Let's upload that image. And right now it's at 50 KB. I can live with that. Keep an eye on the size of your image because uh, you don't want something that's 200, 300 KB. Uh, but 50, I can live with it. And from what I see here, it looks pretty clear. So I'll drop that in. All right, we're looking good. Let's go ahead and set this to full. Let's go ahead and style this up, align this to the left, choose the width. And I'm going to make this, let me see, we'll start off with 120 i want to keep it on the pixel so that way i could keep it uh defined in a set way okay 180 pixels this looks pretty good let's go ahead and also go to advanced align self now let's drop it down below our buttons and then from here i could add in my text i have something ready here and i am using the heading text but it's okay because it's just a lot easier i'm going to change this to a span let's style this up i'm going to go to my typography i'm going to put a small text and let's change this to a white color now from here i could drag this underneath it and we could also go and add some spacing on the bottom i do want to have a good amount of spacing between my buttons because I like to give my buttons some breathing room. And then from here, we could go ahead and add our stars as well. Let's go ahead and add in another image, upload it. Let's go ahead and set this to full as well. Set this to the left. Let's go to our width, change this to pixels. And I would say 120 looks pretty good. Let's go to advance and then also align it to the left just so we got that pink box hovering our element. Now I want this to go side by side. To do this, I'm gonna need to add an inner container. Let me drop that in here and then we'll put in both of our elements. And if you do find a problem with it, go ahead and turn on your structure so you can see that container. Okay, it is in there. Now all we gotta do is change the row to horizontal. Let's align this to the center. And let me go back. I gotta make sure this is centered. Okay, align self for the stars to the center. And over here, let's go ahead and do a negative margin. Let's pull it in a little bit tighter. I mean, there are different ways we could do this. We could fix up our gaps, but I just want to do something really quick. We're pretty much good to go here. Let's take a look. And we are looking good. And this is the easy way to do it. Now, we got another method, and that is using HTML and CSS. And this will give us more flexibility. Also, we could create cool effects like this hover. I am going to replace this image widget with the HTML widget. So let's go ahead and delete this. Search for HTML. And let's drop that in right where that image widget was. Next, go to a link inside the description of this video. It's going to take you to my blog post that's going to have a CSS snippet and an HTML snippet. Let's go copy this HTML, paste it inside of the HTML code box. You could go ahead and open this up. Give yourself a little bit of room because we are going to come in and edit this right here, putting in your own images. And then let's go grab the CSS snippet, which is right up over here. And then go to wherever it is you are managing your CSS. I'm gonna be using a code management plugin. For this, I'm using Fluent Snippets and just paste it in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and update the snippet, but let me just show you really quick. There's only a couple things that you would adjust in the snippet. The first is gonna be the width and the height. You could change the size. Just make sure you are keeping these the same size. That way it is a circle and it doesn't get distorted. Next is going to be your border. So you could change the color of your border to match your brand. You could put something that's light, something that's dark, but just use your brand colors. Also the thickness, you could change that here. And the next is going to be the overlapping effect. If you wanted to overlap more, the images to move in closer, then you would add more negative margins to it. Now you could go ahead and refresh your browsers, save everything, and you should already start to see it take effect, but you need to add in your images. So right here, we are going to change the image source on all of them. Let me go over and actually upload an image and I'll change one to show you how this is done. I'll upload this image here and now I am going to copy the URL, but we're not going to paste the entire URL. Instead, we're going to start right here in this forward slash WP content and get the rest of it. So let me just take this part. Let's go back to the front. 
And I'm going to change this last one here. Be very, very careful that you are only changing inside of the quotation marks. Keep those quotation marks. And it should look like this. And you will automatically see the image show in the front. Let's go ahead and publish it. Take a look. And now we have a more interactive and better way of doing it. It's just a little bit more advanced. Have fun, get creative. You could change the layout of this. We could look at a few other examples. Here are a few different layouts. And then also make sure that if you are using the HTML and CSS method, that you are cropping your images to a perfect square. I have a blast creating graphics like this. And if you do like web design graphics and UI elements like this, then don't forget that good YouTube stuff. Like and subscribe. I do appreciate the support. And if you have any suggestions, ideas, you want to see something created, drop them inside of the comments. I love creating things like this for you all. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.